Hi everyone. So I thought I would do just a get ready with me video today and just kind of talk to you while I'm doing it. Um, kind of maybe give you a little bit of a heads up. I don't, it, this just might be too much information. I'm not sure. Um, first, I'm going to start out with um, Nick's pore filler. I love this stuff. It works so, so well. Um, I have to have a hysterectomy. And I am absolutely not amused about it at all. This is something I've been fighting for um, quite a while without even realizing, I think. I don't even know. I just, I really, really miss you guys. And I'm kind of an extremely honest person. And so I thought I would kind of put all of this together and, and try to, I don't know, maybe even make some sense of it of myself, for myself. I know I am not the first or the last woman to have to have a hysterectomy. I get that. I also know that there are women out there that have had to go through much, much worse things than I have to get to this point. And I, 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 I just can't even, I can't even wrap my head around what they have to go through. This is my journey and I am whining beyond belief. So please excuse that. I'm just having a really, really, really hard time with this. Um, this is Revlon Whipped Foundation. I love this stuff. This is like my new holy grail. Um, I have... What the... Uh, I've Aiden Omiosis. And... Basically, what that is, is, from what I understand, I could be using wrong terminology, my, excuse me, but from what I understand, it's uterine material, uterine lining that has gotten trapped in the muscle around my uterus, and it is causing me great pain. Um, from what I understand, there are, some women can have it and not even know it. It doesn't give them a problem. Maybe a little bit more cramping. Um, mine has gotten to the point now where I have been cramping every single day, like the worst first day cramp is kind of how I can explain it from like the very beginning of, beginning of August, every single day, every single minute of every single hour to today. So it's really taken me down. Um, and it's kind of interesting how it all kind of came about. Let me kind of backtrack a little bit. I've always had problems with my periods. Um, they've always been very, very heavy. They, When I was in school, I would miss school almost for sure. The first, for the first day for sure, and maybe even the second day of my period. They've always been heavy. They've always been a pain. Um, so, anyway, about three years ago, I went in because for about a year before that, they had just got out of control. I had severe periods, um, a lot of clotting. I was having periods every two weeks for seven days. You do the numbers. I was always there. 
So, um, they did an ablation. And that is, um, this is the Rimmel Stay Matte Pressed Powder. And I just absolutely love this stuff. If you can tell, I do have a backup. No, no worries. But this is in 005. I don't know if you can. There you go. Um, I love, this is just the most amazing powder. I love the finish she gives me. Oh, so they did an ablation. Uh, basically, for all intents and purposes, they cauterize your uterus. The, um, it helps slow down your period. With some women, um, she did warn me when I had it done that some women do very well with it, and they'll never have another period at all. Who doesn't want that? Some women will start um, to have light periods. No big deal. And then there's some women that um, it'll work for a while, and then they will eventually go back to where they were before they had it, and you could possibly be looking at a hysterectomy at that point. She gave me that option then. I thought that was just a little, um, I don't know, a little aggressive. So I opted for the ablation. The first year, oh, it was heaven. I had nothing. The second year, um, it kind of started back again nothing. I mean, literally, maybe, maybe for a day or two. I mean, it was literally nothing. Um, no cramping, no, it was just, it was wonderful. The beginning of this year, um, I noticed that it progressively started getting worse. And I just didn't want to go back in. I don't like going to the doctor. I don't do doctors well. Um, this is the NYC Smooth Skin Bronzing Powder, and this is in, uh, Sunny. I love this bronzer. This is, like, just perfect. It's just the best color. So, I just kind of dealt with it and thought, ah, oh, here we go again. And... I got really sick, I think you remember back in um, the beginning of August, and I was having really, really, really bad stomach problems. They couldn't figure out what was wrong with me. I ended up passing out at work. It was bad. They never did figure out what was wrong. Um, they think I had a couple of different things going on. I was dehydrated. Um, I had what we found out much later was I had um, a lot of swelling up in oh, up in this real high portion of my nose. It was real swollen. So it was screwing with the pressure in my sinuses which um, basically screwed with my eustachian tubes and they were collapsing out on themselves. They think that could possibly be why I passed out. Who knows? Fine. Whatever. Um, throw enough medication at anything. And enough time, your body finally gives it up. And I started feeling better. Um, they think I had... They tested me for everything. They tested me for, um, for ulcers, for, um... Uh, oh, I can't even tell you a bunch of different things. I had so many tests, it was ridiculous. I honestly don't even remember. I had CAT scans. I had x-rays. I had, um, I can't, numerous, numerous blood tests. Um, it was just ridiculous. So anyway, um, I have a lot of stress in my life. Um, it's been very crazy busy at work, yet we're not doing very well. And we're all trying to just band together and, and keep our office open. 
So that has been a lot of stress on me also. Uh, this is the Lorac um, Blush in Plum. This is so highly pigmented. You literally just tap, barely tap your brush, and then get the rest off because you will look like you're out for Halloween. So anyway, so um, when all this was going on, they had put me on antidepressive medicine and um, anti-anxiety. So I was having panic attacks and it was just, I've had a really shitty year. Sorry, but it, that just is what it is. Um, so that was in August, about the middle of August. And around September, I had to go back in because I was just a blithering idiot. Might have been toward the end of September. Crying. It was insane. So they changed the antidepressant I was on. They, um, this is the Lorac uh, Perfectly Lit uh, Luminous. Luminous. And this is a highlighter. And it's just, so, it's so pretty. Is this like the cutest brush ever? Is that adorable? And it's just a pointed tip brush and I love this for highlighter. It's like just perfect. So anyway, um, I had to go back in and she changed my meds. Uh, okay, fine. And at the very end, oh, I'm losing my hair here. At the very end, just as an afterthought, um, oh, I think I had mentioned to her, just in passing, not even thinking anything really about it, because I've been on so many different medications, and I know stress can really affect your periods, and so it was literally just an afterthought. But I told her I hadn't had a period since August. And, uh, okay, I have to tell you about these really quick. This is like, these are, uh, I have three different ones. I got these at Walgreens for $4.99, okay? So this is the Sultry palette. And if you cannot afford or choose not to get one of the Naked palettes, I don't think you need to. Because look here, what I found. Let me see if I can get this plastic. Amazing. Comes with um, just, you know, a cheesy little sponge brush that you'll never use. And then I honestly don't know anything about this eyeliner. I haven't even tried it yet. But it does come with one. So this is the, um, this, this is Sultry and Neutrals. I also got... Midnight Fever. And these are the shades. And I've swatched these just on my arm. I haven't used either one of these, so this is going to be um, a first for me for sure. Um, I did not care for them just on their own, but over a an eyelid primer. Oh, they're fantastic. Um, and I left the swatches on my arm. It stayed forever. Um, this one was, I think, I think $9.99. And look how cute this is. Okay, so you open it up here. You open it up here and check that out. $9.99. Again, um, I, these are all from the same company, I believe. Perfusion, yeah. And, again, I did not like these on their own, but over a primer, they stayed forever, and the pigmentation was not bad on them. So, there's your, there's three options. Walgreens, $4.99, $9.99. So, anyway, so we're going to do the sultry neutrals today. Okay, so back to my story. Um, so, literally as an afterthought 
she said, why don't we do um, a blood test, a blood test, um, I think it's an FHS test, and let's just see, maybe you're starting premenopause, maybe a perimenopause, no big deal. MAC Painterly Paint Pot. Um, so I went across the hall and, you know, no big deal, got my blood test. I'd had one three years ago because they thought I was going through premenopause then. My numbers were perfect, exactly where they were supposed to be. So I just expected that to be the same. I'm 45 years old. I'm not going through menopause. Like, no big deal. So I'm getting ready for a party on Saturday. And, you know, usually when you get blood tests and your doctor's office calls or whatever, like I, a nurse, you know calls you back, gives you results, need to come back in, no, whatever. That's how it's always worked at my office. And I have never gotten a call on a Saturday. So, I'm getting ready for this party. My phone rings. I answer it. No big deal. It is my doctor. And as soon as I heard her voice, i use this middle color right there. As soon as I heard her voice, I got totally freaked out because you just know that's not good. So she said that um, when she gave me the blood test, she totally expected to see numbers, you know, that I was like in like a premenopausal state or whatever. And that's she just was not expecting anything different and when my numbers came back I was not in premenopause I was not in perimenopause by my numbers I am in postmenopause now the numbers by the blood test, you know, that's just one phase of it. Um, but it totally freaked her out. And so she wanted me to go to a gynecologist right away, get things done, get things started. So I did. Um, I figure if your doctor's worried, because you know, doctors, they usually kind of, you know, try to keep things calm, try to, you know, Try not to worry you too much. And when she told me the verbiage to use to get in right away, that kind of concerned me. And what even concerned me even more is that it worked. You know, usually going into um, a gynecologist, it takes forever to get an appointment. I had one in 48 hours. When I first went in, my sister went in with me because I was very scared. And uh, this doctor was kind of, I, I don't know, my sister liked her. I thought she was kind of a snot. She was, um, made me really kind of feel like, why was I there? And why did I use the verbiage I used to get in? You know, she was, she said that, yeah, my numbers are high, but I can't be in post-menopause because they don't consider anybody in post-menopause until you haven't had a period for 12 months. Um, when I, to back up a little bit, when I was talking to my doctor, she said, um, I really think that you need to get an ultrasound and really kind of, let's figure out what's going on. Um, but she's not a gynecologist, you know, so. And this doctor was just like poo-pooing everything away. Um, oh, I'm sorry. Um, the color I just put on was this one right here. And I think I'm going to try putting on this last one right here. 
Um, so, my sister, because I was just kind of freaked out about the whole appointment and couldn't think of anything, and I really didn't like this doctor, and I really just wanted to get out of there. My sister had mentioned that my doctor had said that she might want to do a pelvic ultrasound to see what's going on. And, uh, you know, inside. So she kind of just poo-pooed the whole thing away, and the longer we talked, she's like, well, you know, if you want an ultrasound, you know, probably isn't a bad idea. We can go ahead and do that. And she said, well, just beware that having an ultrasound, you know, that's not anything that's going to happen fast. And uh, so if they haven't called you to schedule an appointment in a week, call me back. And I said, okay. The next day they called me and I had an appointment the next day. really <laughs> this is all going a little bit fast um okay i have to stop my battery's fixing to die so they did the the ultrasound um i got dressed and there was a doctor in reading my ultrasound when i came back in the room This is not a bad palette at all. It's very, very light. Um, and I'd say the only bad thing about it is there's really no dark, dark colors. But for a neutral look, um, yeah, it's not bad. Marbello. And this is the uh, permanent eyeliner pin. I love this thing. Um, she said that I had... what they call the adenomyosis and I had several pockets and she was sure that's what was causing my cramping and um, I have cysts on both my ovaries and she saw a spot and she didn't like it at all so she said my doctor will probably want to do a biopsy or she could just watch it and see how what ha what happens with it. And I was like, well, okay. And I think that was just basically covering herself because she's not my doctor. She did say that if I were her patient, she would do a biopsy right away. Um, and that's to check for uterine cancer. So now I am totally freaked out. And I get a call back from my doctor like two days later and she wants me to come in right away for this biopsy. This is all happening so, so fast. Like, I don't even know. Like, holy crap. 